Good morning, good afternoon, or whenever you guys are watching this. I'm with Kitty. We're here in Chiang Mai, just kind of getting lost. And uh, we're just outside of the old city. And we're just going up and down some little streets, some little alleys, checking out markets, and we happen to land upon... Oh, big market, Kitty. Big market inside there. Oh, Amlet. Amlet, yeah. So this market is full of Amlet sellers and dealers and collectibles. And it's kind of cool. And it's one of those things that's so different from uh, Pactia or from uh, Bangkok. I've not seen this before, but you can trade your Amlets or deal your Amlets. But yeah, we're gonna walk into the old town and maybe we'll give you guys a quick little look what it's like. As long as I don't get hit by a car on the way. That would not be good. And uh, Kitty is wearing her Chiang Mai dress. Let's, let's take a look, hold on. There we go. So this, people can see Chiang Mai dress. I'm wearing my Chiang Mai outfit. What do you think? No Chiang Mai outfit. Chiang Mai? No. <laughs> Only me. Only you wearing your Chiang Mai outfit. All right. Yes. Fair enough. We stay here. Yeah, we're actually staying at a hotel just across the street from this market area. B2. Tipanet. 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 Not Tipanet. your name, Kitty. <laughs> so yeah, we're staying at this little little hotel it's okay it's not all that great so when retiring here i got a couple buddies here and i'm talking to them about retirement and retiring what city and why they chose chiang mai and uh so far the biggest response i got was the weather oh and it's cheap of course that was probably the second response but it's uh the weather is nicer here and uh, so far, I don't disagree, considering uh, it's been super nice out. Uh, so I think we have to walk on the sidewalk here. So the other thing I noticed is there isn't these massive buildings and structures here in Chiang Mai, yeah. as I noticed in Bangkok or even Pattaya. There isn't any super tall buildings. So I, I think they like the vibe. The vibe here is definitely much smaller. This cafe right here. It's almost like a beach community. To me, it feels like a beach community that doesn't have a beach. It does have a mountain range, a small range. It's the biggest in Thailand. But yeah, um, I'll show you guys the entrance to the old city in a flash. All right, we're back, guys. We're back. And I wanted to show you guys this wall that used to be here, surround the city, that was built in like, when I looked it up on Google, it said 1,200. So 1,200. AD and what's cool about it is a city is a big square and it has a moat that wraps all the way around it so now what we got to do is figure out how do we cross the street we have to go way over there kitty I think we can cross over here but you can see the moat and you guys can see the wall right there you guys can see it that that's it that's Chiang Mai for you so now we have to figure out how to cross the street without dying here. So where do we cross, Kitty? Do we just go for it? Looks like these people are going for it. Is that what? Ah, uh, we go for it soon. Or do we have to walk that way? How do we go? Do we just do we just start crossing? Do we go? Okay. All right, let's do. We have to now. 
All right, we are crossing the street. And we made it across. Yeah, no crosswalks here, guys. But I guess that's a crosswalk. All right, so we didn't see it. But yeah, we're gonna enter in to the old city of Chiang Mai. You guys are gonna see it firsthand through the gates. What a cool little moat. And what's cool is it wraps around this city. And now we enter into the old city of Chiang Mai. So, I kind of wonder, would people would rather live in the old part or the new part of Chiang Mai? All right, we got the clearance. And we gave it a little why, like thank you. And we got across. We go straight. Yeah, we head straight. I remember. I remember. You remember this area? I haven't been here yet. Not this area. Last trip? I so we are at the furthest part by the airport, the furthest corner. So if you look on Google Maps, you just look for the airport. And the closest point of the moat, that's the corner we just entered in at. All right, go for it, kitty. Oh, you can rent those. I'm not going to rent them, kitty. Little electric bikes. Go, go for rent. We don't need it. This is a walking thing. We haven't walked all day, guys. We've put a thousand steps and have eaten at least 40,000 worth of calories today. And we still have a dinner tonight. So the question is, old town versus new town. This is old town. The biggest difference amongst old town is it is touristy. A lot of tourists. A uh, little more expensive. A lot more expensive, according to my buddy who lives here. Who has lived in both. And he decided to live... Uh, outside of the wall and built the house and it was a fraction of the cost that he was pretty much renting right inside here. The nicest thing about being inside are the restaurants. There's tons of good eats and tons of temples. We got a temple right there. So lots of temples, lots of uh, cool eats here. And uh, so food, temples, massage places, and tradition. I bet it does look good. Let's just take a look. All right, Blooming Moon Cafe, that's where we're at, guys. So let's take a quick peek so you guys can see what things cost here. Yeah, that does look good. Fresh yeah. fruit. Yeah. Ooh, I love these Aussie bowls. I don't see how much, it doesn't say how much things cost. It's okay, but you can see it's busy. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about money. You know what, if people are worried about money getting breakfast, this probably isn't the place for you. Just gonna be honest, guys. If you are stressed out about how much money you have, Chiang Mai might not be the, Thailand won't be the place for you. And for me, if I had to choose new town or old town, for me, I would wanna try the old town first. Like stay here a month or two before making a decision of where I'd wanna live. If I chose Chiang Mai. I know if Kitty had her choice, she wants Chiang Mai. Kitty, where do you want to live? Chiang Mai is south huh? You want to live Chiang Mai? So there you have it, guys. She wants to live in Chiang Mai. Probably not my jam. But anyways, guys, uh, that's it for today. 
we'll see you guys tomorrow.